The Engine Coolant Temperature Sensor, or ECT sensor, is responsible for monitoring the temperature of the engine coolant and transmitting crucial data to the engine control unit, ECU. Its primary role is to ensure optimal engine performance and prevent overheating. When the EAD and ET sensor starts to fail, several symptoms can arise. One of the most common signs is inaccurate temperature readings. Your car's temperature gauge may display unusually high or low readings or fluctuate rapidly, leading to potential concerns or the failure to detect an overheating engine. Another notable symptom is a decrease in fuel efficiency. A faulty ELSCT sensor can provide incorrect temperature data to the ECU, causing an imbalanced fuel mixture. This can lead to reduced fuel economy and potential damage to other engine components. Additionally, a malfunctioning coolant temperature sensor can affect the engine's ignition timing. The ECU relies on accurate temperature data to adjust the ignition timing for optimal performance. If the sensor fails, it can result in misfires, rough idling, or even engine stalling. It's important to remember that a malfunctioning ET sensor may trigger the check engine light on your dashboard, indicating a potential problem with the cooling system. Hey there! I hope you're all doing fantastic, and hopefully this video gives you the valuable insights you're looking for. Let's dive right in. So, coolant or antifreeze plays a crucial role in preventing your engine from overheating. But to ensure the engine stays at the right temperature, we need a way to measure it. That's where the coolant temperature sensor comes into the picture. The coolant temperature sensor is a small yet important component of your car's cooling system. Its main job is to team up with the electronic control unit, ECU, of your car to monitor the engine temperature. This way, we can detect if it's overheating or not getting enough heat. The EQ sends a small current to the coolant temperature sensor, which changes its resistance based on the engine's temperature. The ECU then picks up on this resistance, making adjustments to the engine's operation to achieve the perfect air-fuel ratio. Ignition timing when the engine is cold, the EQ adjusts the ignition timing to help warm up the engine quickly. On the flip side, when the engine is hot, the EQ retards the timing to aid in cooling down the engine. Fueling. In chilly conditions, the EQ increases the fuel injection time. Injector lift pulse width. To ensure proper fueling when the engine is cold. Conversely, when the engine temperature rises, the EQ reduces the fuel injection time to maintain the right fuel. Air mixture. Controlling the cooling fan. When the coolant temperature reaches around 80-87 degrees Celsius, the EQ activates the engine cooling fan at a low speed. As the coolant temperature climbs to approximately 95-95-98 degrees Celsius, the EQ ramps up the cooling fan to high speed. Shift control. The EQ incorporates signals from an additional coolant temperature sensor to control gear shifts in automatic transmissions. If the coolant temperature is still low, the automatic transmission's EQ avoids shifting to overdrive. Ode, position. Idle speed control. Upon starting the engine, when it's still cool, the EQ adjusts the idle valve, or electronic throttle, to increase the engine's speed to about 900. 1000 RPM. This helps warm up the engine quickly, minimize friction between components, and attain a stable operating temperature. Coolant temperature meter and alarms. The X signal is utilized to indicate the coolant temperature on the temperature meter in older cars. It may also trigger water temperature alarms to alert the driver of any temperature abnormalities. Additional uses of the coolant temperature sensor signal, the ECT. Signal has further applications, such as controlling the exhaust gas recirculation system, EGR determining the fuel injection system's operating mode, open loop, closed loop, and interrupting the air conditioning, AIA, signal when the coolant temperature becomes excessively high. Extra coolant temperature sensors. Some vehicles feature an extra ECT mounted on the coolant tank or at the outlet of the thermostat. These additional sensors monitor the performance of the thermostat valve, especially when an electrical thermostat valve is used. Illuminated check engine light. A faulty coolant temperature sensor can trigger the check engine light on your car's dashboard. This will prompt the ECU to generate an error code, which can be diagnosed using an OBAD-D2 scan tool. Black smoke from exhaust. The coolant temperature sensor helps the ECU determine the optimal fuel, air mixture for combustion. A defective sensor can result in a rich fuel, air mixture causing black smoke from the exhaust and poor fuel economy. Difficulty starting the car. During a cold start, the ECU calculates the necessary fuel, air mixture ratio based on the coolant and ambient temperatures. A faulty coolant temperature sensor can lead to a lean fuel, air mixture causing difficulty in starting the car when it's cold. 
Fluctuating temperature gauge. The engine temperature gauge on your car's dashboard relies on the input from the coolant temperature sensor. If the sensor is faulty, it can cause the temperature gauge to fluctuate erratically while driving. Rough idling. A malfunctioning coolant temperature sensor can cause the engine control unit to inject an inconsistent amount of fuel into the engine, resulting in rough idling. Radiator fan problems. A bad coolant sensor can cause the engine control unit to activate the radiator fan even when the engine isn't sufficiently hot. Conversely, it may fail to activate the fan when needed, leading to the engine overheating and potential damage. Transmission shifting problems. The transmission control module, TCM, utilizes the coolant temperature sensor reading to prevent the transmission from shifting into overdrive when the engine is cold. Incorrect information from the sensor can cause transmission issues and decreased engine performance. Gasoline smell. If you notice a gasoline smell that dissipates after some time, it's possible that a faulty coolant temperature sensor is to blame. The ECU relies on the sensor signal to adjust the air-fuel mixture. When the coolant temperature sensor malfunctions, it can result in a rich air-fuel mixture, leading to the smell of gas. Poor performance. When the coolant temperature sensor sends a signal indicating that the coolant is hot, the ECU may respond by retarding the ignition timing and enriching the air-fuel mixture to cool down the engine. However, this adjustment can have a negative impact on the engine's performance, reducing its maximum power output. Typically, the cost of replacing the coolant temperature sensor can vary, depending on factors such as the specific vehicle and the rates charged by the mechanic. On average, you can expect to pay between $95 and $140 for the replacement. The labor costs should range from $60 to $80, while the parts themselves can range from $35 to $65 in price. Keep in mind that these are estimated figures and actual costs may vary depending on your location and other factors. It's always a good idea to consult with a trusted mechanic for an accurate quote. Wait for the engine to cool down completely. Remove the radiator or expansion tank cap to release any pressure. Locate the coolant temperature sensor. Unplug the electrical connector connected to the sensor. Depending on the design, either unbolt the sensor directly from the cylinder head or remove it from a plastic housing. Install the new coolant temperature sensor in place of the old one. Reconnect the electrical connector. If necessary, reinstall any components that were removed to access the sensor. Finally, refill and bleed the cooling system as required. Please note that this is a general description and specific steps may vary depending on the vehicle make and model. It's always recommended to consult the vehicle's manual or seek professional assistance for accurate instructions tailored to your specific vehicle. You can also find links to step-by-step -step videos in the description.